what's up YouTube, it's ICU, and today I couldn't be more excited to show you guys how to jailbreak iOS 13 through 13.3 on not only A12, but also A13 devices. So yes, the latest devices can now jailbreak all thanks to Uncover. So huge shout out to Pone, everyone who helped him, the entire Uncover team. Links to everything, including donations, can be found down below in the description. And you'll also find the link that you need to actually download this jailbreak. And best of all, you don't need a computer. So it doesn't matter if you don't own a Mac. This is not like CheckRain in that you have to actually deploy the exploit over USB. You can do it on your device, which also means that it is semi-untethered. Now, as for other older devices that are jailbreakable via check rain like this iPhone 10 right here. Those devices should be supported at a later point. However, for now, it is just focused on A12 and A13 devices. A full list of supported devices can be found below in the description, but let's just go ahead and get straight into it. So essentially, I just want you guys to navigate to the dedicated tutorial on BTI linked down below in the description. You can read through it. It does contain some very important and crucial information, but then all I want you guys to look for is just this big blue download button for uncovered cover. Just tap on that, wait for it to actually redirect you. It's going to download or rather gather all of the download links. And then once that redirect is complete, I just want you guys to look for one URL on this page right here, right where it says tap. So once you tap right there, you'll be redirected to the on-device signing method that we've found. It seems to work pretty well and it is updated frequently. Just note that these developer enterprise certificates can be revoked by Apple at literally any point in time. And once that happens, the application will no longer work on your device and you're going to have to re-download a newly signed copy with a fresh developer enterprise certificate. So you can actually just bookmark this site if you want, check back regularly and all you have to do is just delete the previous Uncover application on your device, reinstall it through the exact same method I'm about to show you now, and then you can actually use it because you're going to have to re-jailbreak essentially every time you reboot. And to do that, you just need the Uncover application. Again, no computer is necessary. But all you have to do is just look for this red download button. Just ignore all of the ads. You don't need to focus on that. You'll receive a pop-up like this, just asking you to install, tap on install, and then Tap on download if you get another prompt like I did right there, and then it should put it in a blank space on your device's springboard. As you can see, it is going through and downloading Uncover right now. So it will take just a second. And once the download is complete, you're actually going to have to go inside of the settings app because let me show you this real quick. It says untrusted enterprise developer. So in order to actually use this, go over to your settings application, go to general, and then I want you guys to go to device management, tap on the profile, tap on trust, and then trust again to the pop-up, and then you can open up the Uncover application. However, before we do that, there is one very, very, very crucial and important thing I need you guys to do before you jailbreak. Go inside of settings, and then I want you guys to go to general. So again, settings, general, and then I want you to go to iPhone storage. If you have an iPad, it will also say iPad storage there as well. Once this loads up, you need to delete any pending software updates. So you can see right here, I do have a pending update, iOS 13.3.1 at over 500 megabytes. You need to delete any updates, whether it's iOS 13.3.1, a future release, at a later point, such as iOS 13.4 or even 13.4 beta, and uh, whatever it happens to be, just go to it and then tap on delete update, delete update again to the prompt. And it is so very important that you guys do that, otherwise you will run into significant complications. So just delete it if it does pop up again. And uh, I honestly do recommend just rebooting as well. So to do that, you can do volume up, volume down, press and hold the side button, slide to power off. And uh, yeah, I'm just going to then hold down the side button again, and we're going to get it to boot back up. So this will take just a second, and uh, I'm gonna be back once the device is up and running again. All right, so here we are. Let's go ahead and swipe up, enter our passcode. Now we're going to go inside of settings, and I want you guys to confirm that it's gone. So general, 
high phone storage. Let's turn down the brightness a little bit and let it load. And you can see that now the update is gone. So that is perfect. That's exactly what we want to have happen. And uh, I actually do need to just quickly change out my Wi-Fi. I did notice that it connected to the wrong network. So let me just go ahead and do that real quick. I'll be back once more. All right, so now that I am reconnected here, I'm going to swipe over and we're going to load up the Uncover application. And you can see that Uncover itself does in fact confirm that we are running iOS 13.3. You can see for the system version right there. And this is the latest version of Uncover at the time of recording this video, version 4.0. And it does also confirm that this is an iPhone 10s max that's the identifier right there iphone 11 comma 6. so let's go ahead and tap on jailbreak right now i just wanted to make sure everything focused again and you can see that it says that it created a system snapshot and it's been successfully renamed and the device will now be restarted so go ahead and tap ok to that pop-up essentially what it's doing is just creating a backup of your device's root file system now the jailbreak itself doesn't actually touch any of your user data but what it does do is it creates a snapshot of how the file system was prior to the jailbreak that way if you need to unjailbreak you can always go back super easily without losing any data whatsoever so it's awesome that uncover does that now that we are back up once more let's go ahead and swipe over launch uncover again tap on jailbreak for a second time and now it is moving beyond that step and it's actually going through the jailbreak process perfectly so just go ahead and give it a second it might take a little bit for you but you can see here it's moving along past the 21st step now. And uh, of course, I also noticed once more, it is connected to the wrong Wi-Fi. That's going to be important in just a second when we do load up Cydia, but maybe it'll work. So let's just go ahead and tap on OK. It says jailbreak completed. So jailbreak completed with status and essentially it gives you the status right there. And it says that it took only 26 seconds to jailbreak. That is absolutely fantastic. Let's see if we can get it to focus there and uh, the device will now respring once we tap on OK. And we should be greeted with Cydia in just a second. All we have to do once the respring's complete is to just swipe up. So let's go ahead and wait for that to finish here. It's taking longer than usual, but once it's done, you can see we do have Cydia. Guys, we are jailbroken on iOS 13.3. This is absolutely fantastic. This is one of the latest devices, the iPhone XS Max, and of course the iPhone 11 series can jailbreak as well. So let's go ahead and scroll down to actually confirm that Cydia states this is an iPhone 11 comma 6 running iOS 13.3 with the latest version of Cydia. That's it, guys. We are successfully jailbroken. It's super, super, super simple. You just have to keep in mind everything that I've said throughout this video, and you will be rock solid. Keep in mind that eventually the certificate for Uncover will be revoked. It's not a matter of if, but rather when. And when that does happen, what you guys have to do is simply just delete the application. So just delete it like so and then actually download it again. You can use that exact same service I provided on the BTI article. So linked below, everything you need is down there in the description. And uh, that concludes this jailbreak tutorial. I hope it helped you guys out. And until next time, this is ICU signing out. Also, before we conclude, I just came back while editing this video and I realized I forgot to mention to check out our latest top tweaks video if you're looking for things to install once you're jailbroken. If you're brand new to the world of jailbreaking, don't worry. Essentially, tweaks are just packages and modifications that essentially enhance your experience. They're basically the whole reason why you want to jailbreak. Tweaks can do a wide array of things and if you're at all interested in what to install once you're jailbroken again definitely check out that video it is linked down below in the description and it's also in the cards as well i put it a little bit earlier in this video and of course also just be sure to stay tuned because we will be releasing a number of new top tweaks videos as well in the future